In this video, we're going to be discussing the moisture content of different materials, and in this particular case, soil. So what is moisture content? Well, if you recall, moisture content is the ratio of the weight or mass of water to the weight or mass of dry particles. In this case, we're going to be dealing with dry soil particles. So we typically use the lowercase letter W for moisture content. And again, that would be the weight of water divided by the weight of the dry particles. So sometimes we call this W sub S for solids. So the S would be like solids, soil solids, or, or particle solids, okay? And then we often express this as a percentage by multiplying by 100. Now, if you recall, Remember, weight is mg, mass times acceleration due to gravity. So we can also express moisture content as mass of water times g divided by mass of solids times g. And then, of course, you see the g's cancel. And that's why you can also say moisture content is mass of water divided by mass of solid particles. Now, another thing to keep in mind is um, we can say also weight of solids is sometimes computed first as a moist weight minus a water weight, okay? Now, what do we mean by moist weight? Well, moist weight would be the weight of solid particles and the water together, okay? So we'll make a little note here. This is the weight of solids and water combined, okay? And so the mass version of this, of course, is mass of solids equals moist mass minus water mass. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do a couple of examples just in the same video. So we're going to say example one. Example one, um, a soil specimen has a moist weight of 0.3 pounds and has 0.1 pounds of water in it. What is the moisture content? And again, you can express this as, um, as a percentage or as a decimal, okay? So under solution, We'll go ahead and write the general formula. We know moisture content is the weight of water divided by the weight of soil solids, okay? And so um, how, do we, how do we interpret this? Well, again, remember you have a moist weight of 0.3 pounds. So, and then you have the weight of water as 0.1 pounds. So you know the weight of water. What you need to next get before you can calculate the moisture content is the weight of soil solids. So we know that the weight of soil solids is the moist weight minus the weight of water, okay? And so this is just 0 0.2 pounds. And so now we can check off the weight of soil solids. And so um, finally, we'll get moisture content is um, 0.1 pounds divided by 0.2 pounds. And we can say that this is 0.5 or 50% if you express it as a decimal. And that concludes 
this particular example of moisture content. So let's go ahead and do another one. Let's do another one. Example two, okay. A soil specimen has a moisture content of 15% and weighs 3.5 pounds in its moist state, in its moist state. What is the weight of water in the specimen? Okay, so under solution, we're gonna say the moisture content is given to us is 15%. Now, um, you gotta be careful with that 100. I would just go ahead and call this 0.15, write it as a decimal. And then you can say this is 0.15 equals the weight of water over the weight of solids, okay? Um, now, again, do you directly know the weight of solids at this point? No, you don't. You don't know the weight of solids. Do you even know the weight of water at this point? No, you really don't. So it seems like you're stuck because look at this. This 3.5 pounds, that's a moist weight. That's a moist weight. So how do we repackage this? Well, again, we recall that um, you know we've got this property right here. Weight of solids is moist weight minus weight of water. Okay, so how can we how can we uh, repackage this? So let's look at it. The moist the the weight of solids is moist weight minus weight of water. How about we rearrange this equation and we get. W moist equals weight of solids minus weight of water, okay? And again, you know, you know W moist right here, right? So you can substitute that in. Actually, you didn't need to do this. You didn't need to do this. I don't know what I was thinking. You can just directly substitute it in right here. So sorry about that. Directly substitute that in as 3.5 pounds minus weight of water. Now you have an expression for this denominator. So now you can say 0.15 equals weight of water divided by 3.5 pounds minus weight of water. Now, how do you solve for this? Well, this is one equation with one unknown. You just got to cross multiply. So you say 0.15 times 3.5 pounds minus weight of water equals weight of water. And... Don't forget to distribute that. Let's see, 0.15 times 3.5. So we'll get uh, 0.525 pounds minus 0.15 W water equals W water. And then we'll get the weight of water equals what? Move this to the other side of the equation. And we get... 0.456 pounds as our answer for the weight of water. So uh, make sure you can calculate that and you know where that comes from. Let's do one more example. Let's do one more example. So a moist soil specimen in a container has a mass of 21 grams, okay? The empty container has a mass of 12 grams. After 
the specimen is oven dried, the mass of the dry specimen in the container is 19.5 grams. Compute the moisture content. Okay, so um, take a second and absorb this. Okay, and we'll write down the solution. So what we first have is a moist soil specimen in a container. So let's say that our container is here and let's say that we have this soil specimen here and it's moist, so I'm gonna put some blue in it to say that there's water in it, okay? And its mass is 21 grams, okay? And then what happens is uh, we've also got the, the mass of the container that's empty. So what is that? That's just the empty container with nothing in it. Um, let's call this one mass of the container and we'll say that this is 12 grams how about we call this first mass m1 just to give it a, a more specific name okay and uh then we say after the specimen was oven dried the mass of the dry specimen in the container is 9.5 19.5 grams so what does that mean that means that we took this this container um, that had the wet soil in it with a total mass of 21 grams and we put it in the oven and we came back later, and when we came back later, all the water had evaporated, right? Because it's, it's been in this hot oven. So now you just have the soil here with no water, okay? And this mass, let's call it mass 2, is 19.5 grams. So we want to compute the moisture content, okay? So don't panic. You just, you still use the basic definition of moisture content. It's mass of the water divided by the mass of the soil solids, okay? So the question is, how do we determine what these values are, all right? So let's keep it in fraction form and let's do it all together. How do we get the mass of the water here? Well, just look at our little diagrams we drew for help. We have the mass of a container with wet soil and then we have the mass of the same container with dry soil. So if you subtract these two masses from each other, what will you have? Well, you'll have the mass of the water that evaporated. So we can say this is M1 minus M2 in that numerator. Now you may be wondering, um, what about the mass of the can itself? Well, remember, this is all the same can, right? This is the same can here. This is the same, all the same can. So that means the mass of the can, that's the 12 grams, is built into this 21, and the same 12 gram can is built into the 19.5. So it cancels itself out, out of the numerator, but not in the denominator. In the denominator, for the mass of the soil solids, what do we need to get? Well, we need to say M2 minus M can. Why do we do that? Well, again, mass of the soil solids is in the denominator, so I want this little mound of dry soil mass. How do I get that? Well, I say M2, which the 19.5 is the mass of the, of the dry soil with the container, right? And then you say minus the container, and you are left with the mass of the soil solids themselves. And again, you have to subtract the container mass in the denominator part of this equation, but not in the numerator because the mass of the can, the 12 grams, it's built into both M1 and M2, right? So this 12 grams is inside of M1 and it's inside of M2. And when you subtract M1 minus M2, the 12 grams that's built into both M1 and M2 cancels itself out of the numerator. But again, the same thing is not quite happening in the denominator. So maybe take a few extra minutes and, and make sure you understand this concept. So here we can say 21 grams minus 19.5 grams divided by 19.5 grams minus 12 grams. And when you punch this through, you'll get 0.2. Um, in fact, let me just double check myself. 21 minus 19.5 divided by 
19.5 minus 12. Yeah, 0.2, or if you like it as a decimal, you know, you get 20%. And that is the conclusion of this review example of moisture content.